This video reviews the updated 2K26 script that we have inside of our Discord. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to set things up and adjust the values. First thing you're gonna to need to do is join up with our Discord. After that, when you get to our Discord, go to the announcements page. On the announcements page, click on Buy Me Coffee. After you sign up for the Gold Skull tier membership, this right here will help you link your Discord. Now, come into Services and Support. Once you're linked, we'll ping you in these channels. Go to the download, pinned messages. As you can see right here, a lot of updates, a lot of updates, lots of scripts as well. Hit B ball, all you have to do is tap. That's it. And then from there, you'll download it and you can choose where you're downloading it to. I suggest downloading it to your desktop, but if you have a designated spot to download it to, that's up to you. Okay, so Zen Studios, make sure you open it and I'm gonna run you through it from there. After you open up Zen Studios, you need to connect your Zen device using the right-handed side, the programmer cable. As soon as you connect that, your Zen will open up, or your Zen Studios will open up. Now, Zen Studios, go to File, upper left-hand corner, click on that, scroll down to you here, or to you here, TC Open. And wherever you saved it to, I have mine saved under latest script updates 2025. This is an updated NBA script. Project Beatball 3.6. You can see we've already updated it this amount of times with player feedback. Click on it, hit open. It's going to take you directly to compiler. Now these are notes. It's a good idea to read these. We have some changes by, you know, our, our customer stories and feedback and all the stuff that they wanted. This is all into this one specific script. The even Jedi even fixed up an audio issue that was going on. So at this moment, you have the option to have six different profiles and I'm gonna scroll through those to show you that. But read through this, take a look. All of this will be very useful to you. So you understand what you're looking at, what you're looking for. If anything, you can open up um, Zen Studio is just the script itself. Actually, I'll show you that real quick. All right, latest scripts on the desktop. So you could take any of these, this one for example, and then open it in Notepad. And as you can see right there, it opens up in Notepad so you can read through it. Pretty easy, but super, super good for you to read through all this so you guys understand what you get into here. Okay, go to Programmer. All right, loading up. Now, if your game packs do not load, make sure you guys turn off your VPN. I had that issue earlier. From here, underneath Zen, go to the six lines right there, however many now, GPC scripts. Click, should be uploaded, and drag it down into a spot. That's all she wrote. Hit the save button. After it saves to your device, I'm gonna show you the next step, which is gonna be how to adjust it using your controller. Finding values is going to be something that we teach you to figure out within our Discord because everybody's values are going to be different. A lot of variables in place, but we help you figure those out. Okay, so now we're going to hook up the Zen to your controller so we can adjust the values. Take your console cable that connects to the top of the Zen. Plug that in. After that, normally it goes into this. It's what you should see to start. So after that, take your controller cable, and if you're playing on console, Xbox, PS5, you should be connecting in the bottom. If you're playing on PC, A1 port, that's where you want to connect, and that's where I'm going to connect. Your controller should vibrate and turn on at the same time. So there we go. Now, we want to scroll over to the pack, to the script that we're going to be using. So using your Zen, hit the blue button, That's the one right there. We have lockout codes now. So put in your code. We'll give you that in Discord. Using your D-pad and then hit A. Now, <laughs> give you a nice vibration on the controller. And that's gonna give you access to our script. So from there, using your controller, hold down LT or left trigger and menu. And that's how you open up the ability 
right there. So using your controller, D-pad, we're going to adjust player one, green shot, off. Now hitting the Y button, and you'll be able to see this on your Zen, it's pretty clear. Hit the Y button. Now we're adjusting to player two, three, and this profile has six people. So you have six different options. We do that because the recommendation is one particular shot per player. So for player one, green shot. Player two, jump shot. Player three, free throw, probably not, pro shot. All right, let's go back. Green shot, player one. What we're gonna do in order to access this is we're gonna hit the A button and that's gonna allow us to use our, our D-pad. Okay, from green shot. First thing we want to do is turn it on basically. Use your D-pad, press down, and you can time it. This is a new feature. Shot on X or LBL1. We're off. But let's go with shot on X right there. And hit the A button, and that's how you're going to adjust it. So you can see at the top right there it says green shot hold, GS hold. You've also got Green shot release. Now we recommend you start with the hold, hold the A button down on your controller using your D-pad. You can adjust your shot timing as you see fit. So right there, 200, let's say release 50, 250. You would then go test this in one of the online courts, perhaps Gatorade or some of the other ones, and you'd figure out if this is early or if it's late, and we can help you figure out your settings based on your player build. To back out of that, hit the B button. Now, that's player one. Let's say we want player two with his jump shot. D-pad, and if you look at the Zen right there, you can see that there are different arrows pointing in the direction. If you want green shot to jump shot, then you can do that by hitting left or right on the D-pad. Up and down, for jump shot, on and off. When it's on, hit the A button. There's already a preset value called jump shot hold at 450. Hold the A button down, use your D-pad on your controller to adjust to the different holds and timings. Adjust the hold and adjust the release. So hit B, back out of that. Now let's go to player three. For player three, we wanna do pro shot. There's more, Rhythm Shot is really popular. Why don't we do Rhythm Shot? So we want that to be turned on. First thing you do is hit the D-pad down, Fade on left, Shot on X, Shot on LB. So you have your options there. Fade on left, and you can set that for player three, and then set player four to Shot on X. And then the goal of it would be to switch between the players as you play the game. But let's go Shot on X, hit the A button, same exact thing, adjust. So up and down on the D-pad is how you adjust by increments of 10. Left and right while holding A is how you adjust by increments of 1. You'll get very finely tuned at what your player is capable of doing while you're playing the game. But you do have to figure it out in some of these other courts. Okay, backing out of that. Now if you want to save all this, you have three players. You can go on and do more. Player 4, for example. Maybe Rec Shot. Fade on left got lots of options. Let's go through some of the options. Alt R fade. Sprint. We do have some dribbles in here as well. So lots of cool stuff. The M speed is a very specific one. We've been dealing with that a lot because of the different console speeds and lag that is inherent to the game, the latency, and then different dribbles. Catch and shoot, quick stop, crab, whatever that is, and then pro two. Pretty cool. So you've got a lot of options here and all of these are designed to help you guys with whatever it is that you're trying to do. Okay, so let's go back to play one. We already have that there. We wanna save this. You can double tap B or you can hit the big Xbox button. Saved. That's it my dudes. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know in the Discord and we'll help walk you through all of this. That's what we're here for. We do our best to get in touch with you, to help you, to be online so that if you need something, we're there. Ask any questions you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to keep it zen out there. And I love all you guys.